Hi everybody, it's Marie here from Osborne Chiropractic and I hope you're all doing well whilst we're staying at home. So some of you have been in contact with me to say that you're working at home now and obviously we might not be moving as much or we're sitting in postures that are different from what we're used to because we're not at our usual workstations. So I'm going to run through the um, Straighten Up Ireland Posture Care Programme. So this is something that we advocate in the clinic all of the time. Some of you are aware of it and some of you might not be, but it's a simple posture uh, sequence that helps us to move our spine through its full range of motion. And remember, 90% of the stimulation to our brain comes from the movement of our spine. So this is really good, you know, for finding that we're sitting in awkward positions at home, then this is a brilliant way to help combat the effects of that on our spines. <clears throat> Obviously, we're not at the practice to be adjusting you right now. So this stuff comes in really handy and helps you to stay as well as you can be at the moment. So we have a few rules. Um, the first one is that we're going to breathe calmly and deeply when we're doing this exercise. And we're also going to stand nice and straight. And I'll show you that posture just when I stand up in just a moment. And we're going to be nice and gentle through the movements. We're not going to be forcing them or doing any of them too fast. It's a very gentle sequence but again, one that has really great effects on our spine. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna move back a bit so that you can see me doing the exercises and hopefully you can copy these then at home too. So I think that should be okay there. And we have three different sections for straighten up. Um, the first one is called the stars. The second one is our flying friends. And the third one is more core balance. So they all are focused on helping us move our spine and help that communication between our brain and body to be as good as it can be. So we're gonna get started. Our first one that we do, I have my list here, is called the Tilting Star. So for Tilting Star, we're going to bring our feet a small bit um, wider than the hips. And it literally is for us to tilt to one side. So we're going to bring one arm into the air and let the other arm fall down the outside of our leg. And we stay there for about five seconds and gently come back up and back down and go to the other side. Lovely. And then you would stay there for your five seconds and back up once again. And we would do two of those in each sequence that we do. So that's our first one, that's the tilting star. The next one is our twirling star. And twirling star, again, we're going to keep the feet separated, just wider than the hips. And we're going to bring our hands about midway on our torso and use those to turn around, to twirl around. So as we're twirling around, we come back as far as is possible for you. Don't force that, just as far as you can go. And then we're gonna come back to center. And you can do three repetitions of this one. This is a great movement for the spine. We don't normally move in that way through our everyday lives. And our third one in the star section is called twisting star. And if you have balance issues, then you can leave this one or just do extra reps of the first two, but you're going to be lifting one foot off the floor in this one. And we're going to be bringing our knee up in front and meeting it with the opposite elbow in front of the body like this. And we want to do three reps of that then as well. So opposite knee to opposite elbow and meeting in front. Okay, so that's our star section. Remember at the start I said we start all of these by standing nice and straight and upright. You can, you can see that for yourself. If you turn to the side and you get somebody to look at your side, at your posture from the side, your ear, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle would all be in the one line approximately. We don't want to be down here like this. We want to be standing nice and straight and you can pull your, your belly button towards your back too as well. Okay, so that's our stars. We're gonna move on to the flying friend section. Our first one here is called the eagle, and it literally is bringing the arms up as high as we can, up over our heads as we're breathing in. So we're going to begin, bring the arms up with a lovely breath in, as high as you can, and breath out on the release. You can come up onto your tiptoes for this one as well. And there's three reps here. And back down. And this one again is called the eagle and releasing that back down and we're starting to get some arm movement in this is really good for your mid spine your thoracic spine which is always takes the brunt of us sitting down at a pc or at a computer or a laptop 
So that's the eagle. The next one is called the hummingbird and we want to bring our arms out just about 90 degrees with the elbows like this and we're going to make backward circles back like this so you're drawing the shoulder blades backwards at this one making small circular movements and while we're doing that we're going to then tilt the spine to the left back to center and then tilting to the right and back to the center again and again you can do three reps of that that's our hummingbird the next one in our flying friends is called the butterfly so we want to interlace our fingers place that at the back of your head and bring the elbows back and pushing your head back and release and we do that again pushing your head back and release again and that's called the butterfly and that's our flying friends our last section in straighten up ireland is for core balance and the next um, exercise is called the tightrope and it's a tightrope hold so you're literally standing with one foot directly in front of the other I'll move back so that you can see my feet here so you literally have your feet directly in front of the other your knee is over your ankle not out over your toes but just over your ankle and you're going to hold that position literally like that for about 10 seconds so if I turn to the side you'll be able to see that so feet are in the same line and your knee is just over the ankle but not not out over your foot you're just here and while that looks like a fairly easy stance there's a lot of information coming through your spine into the brain at that point to um, help you maintain balance there so it's a really really good one for spinal health as well so you would do that on both sides that's our tightrope hold the next one is called the rocker and this is literally where your feet are wider than the hips again and we're going to literally just rock the hips side to side you can let your hands loose for this one and that opens up the low spine helps us to get moving there and also into the hips when we're sitting a long time the hips can get very tight and the hip flexors too so this is really good and if you want you can do some rotations coming around in a circle and you would go both ways clockwise anti-clockwise so that's all of the hip rockers or the rocker that's called and then the final exercise in straighten up ireland sequence is called extending the sword once um, we have our posture here we're going to turn one foot to the side and again just lean your knee over the ankle but not out over the foot you're straining your knee there we want to just keep it here extend out the back leg rest your arm or your elbow here on the front leg and then we're going to lift our arm up into the air in front and again you get a lovely side stretch through the spine here and then we're going to release that and then you do the same on the opposite side so that leg comes forward keeping the knee over the ankle let the back leg come back just as, as far as is comfortable for you arm comes down onto the thigh in front and you're going to lift your arms straight back up into the air and you'd hold again for about five seconds here and rest back okay and that's the whole sequence there's nine exercises in that and it brings the spine through a lovely range of motion so you may find that useful um, i will send this out on the email the handout for the straighten up ireland for the adults and also there's a kids version so if you have kids at home who perhaps aren't moving as much as you might like them to be, then this is a really fun sequence for them to do and you can possibly do it together as well. So we'll get those out on the email for you. And in the meantime, stay well. If you have any other concerns that you would like us to address, please do get in touch and we will try and shine some light on those aspects of things that some people are finding a challenge right now. So in the meantime, stay well and stay home. We'll see you soon.